Ace Clips, Downriggers to the next level, 34. Release clips are so important when you're fishing and you're using hardware or you're trolling flashers like you see on the screen here. Hello everyone, I'm the Doc, the ghost net guy of Washington State, and of course your co-host is Cosmos. Now him and that left eye of his is looking pretty bad, but he's been shooting a pretty good game of pool. In this upcoming short, we're going to cover all about release clips and why they work so well, in some cases better than others, and how to improve your hooking power. You know, when you get that big fish on, all of a sudden you're there, it feels great, and then he's gone. Why? The release clip many times didn't hold strong for you. And so in this short, Cosmos, come on buddy, give it up. Let's look into your eye and learn about release clips. The most important thing that I can share with you about release clips is how they hook up the best for what type of tackle to use. If you're using a rotating flasher like this hot spot here, very popular flasher, or maybe you're using like a little dodger of this type, you need a release clip that has a direct line of pull towards it because you're going to want to get in the deeper depths and there's nothing worse than getting three quarters of the way down and having the release clip prematurely kick off. And then you're rebaiting, reloading, as they say, and wasting a lot of the time. Because these morning bites, they don't last long. So flashers, direct line of pull. A good release here is called the Black's Kite Release. It's been around for a long time. You hook it directly to your downrigger cable, but it has the thumb screw and direct line of release pull when that flasher gets hit with the fish. As you can see here, fish on. And there's nothing better than getting one up to the back of the boat and in the net. Oh, that's a good feeling. Another type of release that's pretty popular is this spring-loaded, has two pads on it, and the line goes in between. The one thing I want to caution you about when you're using this release, though, is how the line wants to slide. It doesn't pop free, it slides free. And the fish, when they go to bite, they'll mouth it, it'll slip a little bit, and they won't take the bait. They'll try to take the bait, but the hooks won't get them. So these release clips will give you a lot of fish that will come to bite, and then you miss them, just as you see here on the screen. That one fish wants it, doesn't he? Over and over, but the release clip is sliding when he bites. An important thing about release cl clips, too, is that when you find one that has been dependable and works well for you, you want to match it up with the other ones on your downrigger, so everybody's working in harmony with one another. A downrigger release clip with self-worth. Now, there's a good one, self-worth. Hey, that could be our affirmation of the week in this YouTube for you kids, self-worth. You know, you're not measured by the things that you do. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. You're measured by the abilities that God's given to you and the way that you use those abilities to help others. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. You know, there's nothing worse than seeing a talented kid, lots of abilities, and they're unused, undeveloped. He doesn't even recognize that he's got abilities. So, if anything, recognize your God-given abilities. Learn what it is that you like to do. Now, I like to salmon fish and play pool with my rabbit Cosmos. And the abilities that God's given to me is to share with you on some of these techniques. So we'll continue putting out more YouTube and you kids affirmations of life. Let's get this self-worth under control because it's the greatest tragedy in the world. You know, you're not using your abilities. That's a tragedy. Wasting time you never can get back. That's a tragedy. Dying with a song in your heart. You get it? That's a tragedy. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>